Hello and welcome to Pokemon Silver, a game released, as it says right there on the title screen, in the year 2000 here in North America, and uh, one that I was absolutely determined to start out my channel with. Because The reason being, because I started playing video games with this game, so I felt like it was a nice, fitting touch. Starting off, I believe... I wanted to do a couple things on the menu screen, and I believe if you hold down Y and B, reset the clock. You can reset the clock by entering in a password, but I don't know the password. I'll have to find it one day. I'll probably show it at the end of this adventure. Uh, let's see. Starting off, you have continue, and... Uh, this was a test save. I'm gonna. Sh uh, when I originally did this, it said time needed to be reset. I thought it had something to do with saving before you set the clock. However, I noticed that it did it on a different file, so I don't know what activates that little glitch. Next thing is new game, which I didn't want to do that because if you just press on new game and uh, don't do a certain t button combination on the title screen then it won't allow you to save in game you would have to once you reset it resets for good this is about my tenth time recording this because I've had a lot of either mechanical failures, save failures, or just bad recordings. However, I feel pretty confident in this one. So, let's start by pressing up on a game a GameCube controller, Y and B. There, I'm given the the option to clear all save data data and by clicking yes, you permanently erase the previous file. But that's alright. I didn't want to play as silver anyways. I only want to play silver. ZZZ. ZZ Z -Z Top. Hmm, what? You woke me up. I know that feeling. Will you check the clock for me? What time is it? Now, I always go 12 o'clock. How many minutes and I always do it exactly and in a couple towns over I could I will explain why I like to do that sorry to keep you waiting in the world of Pokemon my name is Oak people call me the Pokemon professor no they don't actually I think most people do no they don't they just call him professor Oak this world is inhabited by creatures that we call Pokemon Good thing that's described to somebody who wouldn't be part of that world and not somebody who would have that be a common thing in their world. It'd be like telling your neighbor, this is called an animal. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some people battle with Pokemon. Eh, them. What a way to end that sentence, not finishing the grammar. Even though the grammar's right, but you want to start on Pokemon, end on Pokemon. But we don't know everything about Pokemon just yet. There are still many mysteries to solve, like how come there's over a thousand of them? 
that's why I study Pokemon every single day. Now, what did you say your name was? So, now would be a good time to introduce my channel, even though I might do an edited video on it, but I don't have any plan. I, I plan to, but I don't know if I'll be able to do it. I'm going to give it a try, but if not, then this, my, my game profile, or my YouTube profile, and by extension, I am Revital. The full name is Revital Hats. Long history of that name. If I do that edited video, I would explain it there because this is not a time or place. Revital, are you ready? Your very own Pokemon story is about to unfold. You'll face fun times and tough challenges. Oh, I know. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon await. Let's go. I'll be seeing you later. So, open it up in your room. In the original game, there was a Super NES in front of the TV. You get a radio. The reason I decided to start with this and not Generation 1 is because, well, like I said earlier, this is the first video game I ever played. So, the original games were more like a blast of the past, especially since I played the remakes before I played the original. Professor Elm was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I almost forgot. Your Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Here you go, you can almost make a poem. Revival received uh, Pokegear. Or just Pokegear. Uh, okay. Well, I guess the first one was Pokemon Gear. It's essential if you want to be a good trainer. Thanks for the boast of confidence, Mom. Oh, the day of the week isn't set. You mustn't forget that. What day is it? For me, it's... Come on, Thursday. But it's much later, so... I'm gonna go ahead and just say... Ooh, I kind of did a bad time there. Uh, I mean, I did a normal time, but... And Friday will be right more often. Yeah, Friday will be right more often than not. Is it daylight saving time? No, not anymore. Not where I'm at. 12.04 for daylight saving times. By the way, do you know how to use the phone? Yes. I meant to say no because she gives you the same information and everyone always chooses no. Just choose the name you want to call. Gee, isn't that convenient? No. Alright. A second television, a fridge, a stove, or sorry, sink, and an oven. Stove. Combo. Wombo. Heard that said for the first time, and uh, now I can't get it out of my head. It reminds me of the old game show uh, Whammy. If you talk to this character up here, dot 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 dot, so this is the famous Elm's Pokemon Lab. What are you staring at? Pachak! Always fun. Always fun. Something I would recommend? Switching tech speed to fast. And, uh, let's see what kind of frames there are. Nah. Original looks the best. That could be nostalgia talking, but I don't think so. Revital, there you are. I need to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. Hmm. Must have made up his own name. Much like I do. He keeps finding weird things and... Raving on about his discoveries. Anyways, I just got an email from him. Saying that this time it's, it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you go look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon. 
that we just found. Go on. Pick one. Pick it. Pick it. Go on. Pick one. Oh. If a wild Pokemon appears, let your Pokemon battle it. Ooh. Alright. So starting off, you have Cyndaquil. It plays exactly the same as Charizard, except it doesn't turn into a flying type. Next. Totodile. Powerful water type. Nothing else too special about it. Chikorita. Very weak for this game. Not only is it weak to a lot of gyms, but also very not grass-like type. It doesn't. It's not part poison, so it doesn't get a lot of the resistances, and it doesn't do a lot of the effects, the effect statuses. So, not the greatest grass type in the world. I, do, I for this adventure, want to use Cyndaquil. And the reason is because there are next to zero Johto Pokemon that are fire type. And I like to do mono region teams just because I like to show off Pokemon from that region. Give Cyndaquil a name. And if I do that, I will be stuck with either a baby Pokemon that I'll never evolve or one of the worst fire types I could possibly think of across the entire game. Whew, I really ran out of air there. So, I'm going to go ahead. This is going to go off a little bit off of my, one of my old files that failed to save, and I was very... char roll. I was very upset when it didn't fail, when it didn't actually save, because... Well, I lost my first episode. I might play that another time, but not today. So, I'm going to name my Cyndaquil Charcoal. Yeah, I, w I had another one called Tucker, and I'll get into what went wrong with that recording when I get to it, but those are those recordings, and this is the real one. At least I hope. I really hope that the save works this time. It seemed to. I tested it several times. I hope it works. Revital, I wanted you to have this for your errand. It's a potion... There's only two of us, so we're always busy. Well, you could have given me a super potion. Potion heals 20 HP in the middle of battle. Very good item, but it kind of gets overshadowed by a berry that recovers, I believe, 10 HP. And the reason why it overshadows it is because... The reason why it overshadows it is because a berry you can equip to your Pokemon and it'll automatically recover 10 HP and you don't have to use a turn to do it. And in these early battles, 10 to 20 points of HP, it's a full heal every time anyway, so you really only need to recover 10 at a time. Alright, going into Pokemon battles. So, you have four options. Run, which will run away from battle. I guess I should have showed that a, a different time, but that's alright. Because, no. Alright. Let's get into a battle. Walk through the grass. It's a randomizer. can be manipulated if you use the right tools, but... It's not really worth doing in these games. Second, you can switch between Pokemon. Because eventually you'll be able to have more than one Pokemon on your team. However, since we only do have one, it uh, you can't switch. Bag. That potion that I was talking about earlier is right there if you want to use it. And that berry is equipped to charcoal from the very beginning. Now you can choose to attack. You have a many many different types of moves but the two that you're given from the start is a status move called leer which lowers defense you can also get one with growl which would lower attack and eventually charcoal will earn one called smokescreen that lowers accuracy and then you have a regular attacking move it's based off of different stats inside the 
inside the Pokemon's, uh, well, stats. No real better way. And here's that. Yeah, as you can see, that berry was automatically used and it was almost a full heal anyways, despite not having to use a turn to, no, uh, despite not having to use a turn to get it. So, based on, there's the stats right there. The attack power will base the, pa the power of the tackle because it's a normal move and that's uh, going into a lot of complicated stuff. And right there, Charcoal learns Smokescreen, which will lower accuracy. Great move. And uh, the battle, after winning a battle, you saw that it gained experience, which your Pokemon will require so much experience to level up. And when it levels up, it boosts stats and has a chance to learn a new move at certain levels. By chance, I mean it will learn it at a certain level, but unless you have the entire move sets of every Pokemon memorized or have a list of them, which, believe me, I tried that before and it didn't work out too well. So, unless you do have something like that, it's not going to help you too much. It's just a chance. Different Pokemon with different levels give different experience. And uh, starting from this point, I think I'm going to go ahead and start skipping battles because there's there's nothing too special about them. So, I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and skip out battles for now until I reach an item called Repel, which will allow me to just avoid battles in general. And as you see there, I recovered a berry right there. And then I could jump over ledges, making walks a little bit shorter. I'm not forced to talk to that guy. I'll talk to him in a little bit. Let's see, uh, a couple of other things to go over. Oh, we're in a town. Here is a Pokemon Center. You go in, you go in, you talk to the countertop here, because the way games work, you're not actually talking to that NPC there, you're talking to the countertop. And uh, they heal your Pokemon to full health. Free recovery. This here is a Pokemon Mart, not really worth showing right now because all they have is Potion, Antidote, Paralyzed Heal, Awakening. You're not going to need these items at all, and they cost a lot of money, and you have no way to generate money yet. This here, I'll go over in a minute, and... Oh, never mind, that was what I was thinking. Guide Gents. That's this guy. This old guy here. Next up, we're going to go up this route, and I'll go over... I might go over the Pokemon you can find. Uh, I tried that. It was a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. But I was also trying to train all the Pokemon too, so it was just a bad move on my part all around. And when I said that, I might not, I wouldn't need those uh, items before. I was totally lying because this Weedle poisoned me. That's a status element that will continuously hurt over time. It's a really annoying move because it's the only one that hurts you outside of battle as well. Uh, string Shot is another one of them status moves that lower speed, also an annoying one. Weedle's just in general an annoying Pokemon. Alright, I'm going to go ahead. That flashing is taking 1 HP of damage every time it goes on. Since this is another Weedle and nothing important, I'm going to go ahead and skip this match. It's a smart idea to run when you got poison status because you're constantly getting hurt and you'll lose a lot quicker. However, 
I pushed my luck because right there is a poison berry. It's almost like they knew Weedle was going to poison you before you got here. Go here and then cure the poison. I think that was actually a really bad move because if you go through the store, the guy with the blue fedora is Mr. Pokemon. And the guy with the line down his back, or the back of his head, oh, you talk to Mr. Pokemon, he gives you a egg. Nothing special, at least not nowadays, but in the previous game, there was no genders and thus no breeding. You couldn't even have two Pokemon in a daycare at the same time. I'll get into that later. And uh, in this game, you can. And this guy is Professor Oak. So you're Revival. Revital. I'm a Pokemon researcher. Yes, you told me this in the intro. My old friend, Mr. Pokemon, that you never mentioned before now. I heard you were running errands all the way from the Kanto region, which is different from this, is the Johto region. So I waited here. For, what, two years, four years since this was released in North America? What's this, a rare Pokemon? Let's see. Hmm, I see, my last apprentice did not even know this Pokemon existed. You're better than him already. All right, all right. Explanations. Ah, you seem to be dependable. How would you like to help me out? See, the latest version of the Pokedex. It's an encyclopedia. I used to always think that it was already made and finished and that you were just feeling it out like it was in the show. But no, apparently you are writing each of those entries in there, which always seemed kind of weird to me. But I guess that's why everybody makes fun of it all the time. Oh, Revital, something terrible. Oh no, what to do? Uh... All right, so now we have trouble back on the home front we gotta make our way back and uh, I'll probably get poisoned by Weedle again nope all right we're back and we're gone again ooh here you have an example of a stronger Pokemon that you can find in the wild, but shows why it's not a good idea to just catch the strongest Pokemon in the wild. Because if you let this Pokemon attack, it uses a move Harden, which is a status buffing move that raises, raises its defense. So my tackle attack will not do as much damage, however, that's all this thing knows. So if you try to raise it on your own team, you're going to be doing a lot of switching. Where if you cut it from a Weedle, you would have Poison Sting because it does not lose move, does not lose moves upon evolution. However, it can gain moves upon evolution. Like this, like Kakuna would always learn Harden when it evolves, no matter the level. Since this is going to take a minute to finish, I'm going to go ahead and skip to the last hit of the battle. Actually, that didn't last very long. As you see there, after six uses of this move, when it uses the move again, its defenses cannot possibly raise any more. After three, its defense stat doubles. And I would imagine that it either triples or quadruples upon six. I imagine triples because you're adding your stack in two, and that makes three. And as you saw there, I gain a whopping 30 experience, which is really good. Training and worth just pushing through, especially with weaker Pokemon, because, well, it's easy, and it's just a match of fertility. 
I like to say nutrition, battle of nutrition. I think that's what it's actually called. I don't know why I use another one. I thought that was going to be something worth showing off, but the only thing we got here was a level up, which is always a good thing. Alright, so from here, I'm going to go ahead and skip the ledges because I'm not going to get another level up, and I'm already running close to 30 minutes. However, I do want to get to a very specific spot. I want to get to a specific spot before I end this off, otherwise I would have ended it off in the Pokemon Center a long time ago. Now, I would recommend you get fully healed, go into your inventory, and if your Pokemon already used its berry like mine did, I would recommend putting it on. Equipping another one that you got right there on the first route. I got a Pokemon on a Pokemon lab. I want, what a waste of wipe up there. Blah, blah, blah. That was a bad jumble. Pretty much he says that he's better than you and your wimp. You know what? I'm not the wimp. You're a wimp. And you want to know why you're a wimp? Because when you had a chance to battle all those other Pokemon, you ran from them like a coward. That's right. That's what you are. You're a coward. And... There's... Oh. Never mind. I figured that would also... Maybe they all had... I thought Total Dial had Growl for its uh, status lowering. Status lowering move. And I don't think Chikorita does. Maybe I got them mixed up. And that's why I think one does and the other one doesn't. This one... Any rival bat... All but a couple rival battles are pretty easy because... Well... You have the unique chance to train before you have it. Have your rival battle. And... Uh, with the exception of just a couple... And with that, I got a whopping 70 experience. Hmm, are you happy you won? My name is question mark, question mark, question mark. What I like to do when I was younger, because I used to play this game a lot, and I used to start new games and play them again and again and again, I always like to name that person question mark, question mark, question mark, because that's what the game says its name, the person's person's name is. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump down the ledge because I don't want to go through all the battles and you need cut to avoid a short, or to make a shortcut. With that said, Sentret. I always like Sentret and Furret, which is Sentret's evolved form. And you get Furret at a very low level, I believe 15. I always thought it was a good Pokemon, it's just it gets outclassed very quickly and uh, I don't want it for this particular team. And Yes, I was hoping to get a level up, one more level up before the end of this adventure. And their charcoal grew to level 9. And with that, if you go inside the lab, returning back to Professor Elm, or Professor Elm, he's talking to a policeman. Did you happen to know his name? As I said, he's a coward. However, that's not the name I want to call him, even though it is very befitting. Instead, I want to call this character Mr. B, because it fits my a character I'm making called Mr. B absolutely perfectly, except for the thieving part. But other than that, Mr. B is who I'm going to call this character. Talk to Professor Elm again. Oh, this is terrible. 
The big discovery? The mystery egg to Professor Realm. You gave him that egg. This! Oh my goodness, I almost fell out a window. But it's... Is, a, is it a Pokemon egg? If it is, it is a great discovery. Mr. Pokemon did it. He made a great discovery. What? Professor Oak gave you a Pokedex? Revital! Is that true? Th th that's incredible. He is a superb at seeing the potential of people as trainers. Wow, Revital. You may have what it takes to become the champion. Because I'm the best around. I'm a terrible singer, so I'm going to stop. It just felt very befitting. That and we are the champions. You should take the Pokemon Gym Challenge. Yes, because if you weren't given a Pokedex, he would have taken his Pokemon back. And you would have just been benched at home for the rest of your life. Gotta wonder why your mom was saying you would make a great trainer from the beginning. It's like she had foresight. And I forgot to show this earlier. You go to this machine, it acts as a Pokemon Center. This guy will give you five Pokeballs. It doesn't say it, but he gave you five of them. Almost half a dozen. And I think you gotta go talk to your mom. Oh wow, that's a cute Pokemon. Okay, I'll help too. Well, what can I do for you? I know, I'll save money for you. Yeah. I think your mom saving the money is terrible because she buys stupid items that you won't need and become outdated by like the fourth town but hey she could also buy very useful items that you can't otherwise get go over here many pokemon have something show you how to catch pokemon if you say no to him he'll just pout and go to the corner and go oh okay look at his hands they it looks so weird. Why Why is his hands positioned like that? I mean, the least they could have do was, done was throw a Pokeball in it. At least then he would be holding something, but now he's just, like, twitching. He's got a weird twitch, and I think he only has four fingers. Unless his pinky's crossed under, which is probably what it, that is. His pinky's crossed under his uh, ring finger. Still very weird. Alright, so, with that... We started, well, I started my channel, and we began an adventure. Hopefully, I will see you in the next one. I'm going to go ahead and save here, and hope that the save holds, because this was 27 minutes. See you guys.